Right. If you don't know who Lorne Armstrong is, uh, he's a pedophile who was caught on To Catch a Predator. Now, tons of people were caught on To Catch a Predator. What makes Lorne stand out from all the others is how, despite being shown exactly what he has done, he continues to not take responsibility for it, blaming other people. Okay, I could bring up the, uh, his segment where, when asked why he did it, he talked about how he was catfished, why he showed up to a house to meet a 13-year-old girl, right? Was because he was catfished, okay? Because what happened to him is why he tried to rape a child. And this entire community shits on this guy. Deservably so, okay? Now, this Discord, which you're looking at here, uh, is their Discord where they gather and mock uh, this man for never taking responsibility for what he did and blaming his past and what he went through, right? He didn't get his mac and cheese. He didn't get his meatballs. He didn't get this. He didn't get that. He was abused when he was younger. He was abused when he was older. You know, all the reasons for why he's doing what he's doing now. I'm sure by now, if you're not a moron and you've been reading what's on screen, you can con conceive where I'm going. Screaming, controlling, emotionally manipulated, revenge cheating, playing mind games, people who grew, grew up being abused think this is all normal. And it takes years of therapy to unlearn. Okay, So they think it's normal, and it's not really their fault that they're doing what they're doing because they were controlled and screamed at and abused when they were younger and abused when they were older. And they can't see how this fits together, right? And what it really comes down to psychologically is the victim mentality. Lorne will never change because he doesn't see any reason why he should change because he's a victim. Victims didn't do anything wrong, so they don't have to change. Lorne didn't do something wrong when he repeatedly picked up the phone to get catfished over and over and over and over again. That's not his fault. It's the fault of the people who called him. So it's not, do you not see how I can see it clear as day, how blaming other people or your circumstances for what you're currently doing is Lorne behavior and they mock him as they make the same excuses for a, quote, victim who gets punched in the face repeatedly by the same person, then wakes up, has sex with that person, and then stays with them. They can't see that, oh, you're giving this person who just hit you comfort by sleeping and having sex with them. Oh, they don't look at that. They just got hit, therefore they're a victim, therefore everything they do can be excused, right? We can excuse a woman who continuously sleeps with somebody who hits her, right? We can excuse that. We can excuse her not calling the cops on this individual so that he can not get arrested and do it again to someone else, right? We can excuse that because of what they went through. And that's what Lorne does. And I've said it a time and time and time again that the only use Lorne really has is he acts as a shit magnifying glass for garbage behavior, and he does it in such a way that it is so personified by what he's doing. I'll give you an example. Picture you were married for 55 years to the same woman and one day she just packed up and started walking out the house. And you were like, honey, we've been together for 55 years. Can you, you at least owe me a something, right? You can kind of understand that uh, sediment. But in reality, you're never owed anything from anyone else. If somebody wants to just pack up and leave after 55 years, that's their prerogative and they don't owe you an explanation, Okay. You can understand, now we can kind of see it. What Lauren will do is been, be like, we've been together for a week. You owe me an explanation. Hang on, my cat. <laughs> Kitty! So this is just a group of people uh, who use Lorne logic while talking shit about Lorne logic. See, it's because of my past that I stay in a bad relationship. Right? And then they'll say it's trolling. Is it trolling to show you how you're mocking A and then defending A? That's hypocrisy. But again, as you can see, timed out, uh, they just can't see it, right? They can never see. It's like Lorne. Lorne will never see, and this is why they watch him. Because he's on the internet for everybody to see, talking to catfishes, screaming, doing the same thing over and over again for everybody to see and never changing. 
And here you can see they do the same thing, but they just, one, they're not as seen and they block people and try and control the thing where Lauren, it's just him repeatedly picking up the phone and doing the same thing. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I do know, but here we'll just, you know, I'll just go through it. If you, I, I don't know why you would want to read it, but I mean, we've already got the the current, uh, we already got it. Does your past excuse what you're currently doing? That's what Lorne does. He ex uses his past to excuse his present. And that's, uh, I have an issue for calling them stupid as though they're asking for it by not leaving. If you get punched in the face by a guy, and you don't call the cops and you go back to him and sleep with him and then he punches you in the face again. I mean, it's not your fault you got punched in the face. It's your fault you were there where his fist was, right? Like, cause you know he's going to do it. So if you go into something and you know, like you, you have culpability for what, you, what you're doing. If, I, if there's a big sign that says, well, come inside and get raped and I go inside and get raped, who am I blaming in that in that situation, right? Like, if there's no sign, okay, I understand. You didn't know. But once you know, you know. And now you, you can't use not knowing as an excuse. And that's what Lorne will always do. And this is why these people will always be like Lorne. Look how what they're talking about. He's trolling. You mean arguing idiot. And I always just say what I'm talking about. Lorne is stupid because he blames what he went through for why he is still fucked up. Don't do the same thing. Apparently, it's their fault if they don't leave the moment they get hit the first time. I mean, if you don't leave, it's your fault for not leaving. I, you can't blame the guy who punched you for why you didn't leave. He's not in control of your body. Notice how I, I conveniently ignore the child abuse example. Uh, children aren't capable of the things adults are, right? A, a kid it can't just leave the house like an adult, right? If you're a 35-year-old woman repeatedly getting abused, you're, maybe the way you pick men is bad. And I'm like, 25s? What five-year-olds is in an abusive relationship, right? Like, this is, this is where their logic has to go. Yeah, if you're 35 and still dating losers, that's on you. Okay, now they're now they're saying we got to mute him. We got to get him muted. He's 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 telling me that I need to be responsible for my actions. Can we shut this guy up? I don't want to be responsible for my actions. And now they hang up. And that's what Lorne does. Whenever you present Lorne with something he doesn't like, he just hangs up because he's always over the phone. So he just hangs up the phone. See, thanks everyone. I'm out. See that, but he comes back. And Lorne will always call back because he's a narcissist. So after Pope says he's out, he just comes back. And I. Uh, this is where it's actually the, the Lauren quotes. What is it, Lauren? Like Ramona, right? I can't imagine being that bored on a Monday. I can't imagine seeing myself use Lauren logic and not instantly changing my worldview. I mean, wild thing to say that while defending abusers. I never said I, I never defended abusers. Here, let's let's read through what I said at defending abusers. Uh, if if your friend blah 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 you do something if you're 25 and don't know abusive relationship is bad you're either lorn or have mental damage yeah is that saying am i defending abuse no i'm just saying if you don't know abuse is bad you're kind of retarded that's not defending abuse that's just kind of saying if you don't know what that you're being abused you might be stupid if you're 25 i'm not blaming the victims for being abused right i don't see where i said it's okay I think you're stupid because you can't see that you're using the same logic Lorne is. Nobody is a victim because what is a victim? Okay, so I'm not victim blaming. You realize we're talking about victims. And there you go. Victims didn't do anything wrong, so they don't need to change. So when, and basically this is what he's saying. A woman who gets hit by a man and then goes back to him, she doesn't need to change because she's a victim and she didn't do anything wrong. He needs to change. So she can't be responsible for anything. And do not, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's it just is absolute insanity going back to a guy who hit you repeatedly because you didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> wow. I'm going to end it on that. Okay. Please. Uh, yeah.